Hi everyone, welcome to this Earth Resonance Meditation. So you join me here today in the beautiful sunshine beneath this great oak tree uh, with my sun gong. And I would like to practice uh, a meditation with you today that I like to call the rise and fall of life. So this is a, a very natural and very deep meditation. Um, and to begin with, I'd like to explain this in the context of the breath. So we, we breathe in, we breathe out. It's one of the most simple, most natural, fundamental things to our very existence. And we can, we can see that in nature. So we can see how at times it feels like nature does itself breathe in and it does self, itself breathe out. So take for example the seasons. So during the summer there's this strong in-breath and we come to a sense of abundance and strength. And we reach this maximum point of the in-breath. Then as we move into autumn we begin to exhale, the earth begins to let go until it reaches that point of maximum exhale in the depths of winter. So when we see it like this, we can see that, that strong connection that we have with nature itself. And of course, the, the changing uh, of day to night, you know, there's another, another cycle there. There's that, that feeling of coming and going, that feeling of rising and falling. And gongs are exceptionally good at bringing our awareness to this, this connection of rise and fall. Because this rise and fall is a rhythm. This rise, this rise and fall um, is a vibration and a resonance in itself. Before we begin though, let's consider this in the ultimate sense. And by this, this I mean life and death. So of course, humans are born and then we die, we rise, we fall. And we see the very same thing in nature. But it's a very, very natural part of being, a very natural part of life itself. But there can be great resistance to this. And there can be great fear attached to this sense of change and impermanence. And again, sound is very good at allowing us to relax, to relax into this knowledge. This knowledge that there is no such thing as ultimate death and ultimate destruction. So death is not the opposite of life. So the opposite of life, if we were to consider it as an opposite, is transformation. So the energy is not destroyed, there is simply transformation. So we know as these beautiful, these great trees grow strong, one day they will fall. And once they do, they will feed the earth, they will give back, they will give forth the energy and they will simply transform. So I invite you now to come along with me for a gong meditation. So I'm going to be using the gong to allow sound to rise and sound to fall. Now there is no need for your thoughts in this process. By all means engage with that. Um, but you'll get a lot more out of this if you can just relax into it with an open mind. Just listening, free from judgment. Free from analysis. Just simply listening with mind and body. Just spend a few moments getting settled, finding your seat, and bring your awareness to your breath. Tuning in to that breathing in and breathing out. That rise and that fall. So natural and so easy. Breathing in and enjoying and expanding. Breathing out and relaxing and letting go. Just listening now. The relaxed, the open mind. Connecting to the sounds as they rise. Just letting go and releasing 
surrendering as they fall, fall back towards silence. Just allowing yourself to settle 
into this sense of spaciousness. Relaxing the breath. As we rest at ease, we can start to let go of even the sense of polarity, the sense of rising and falling, and resting in something even beyond this, deeper. Something without conditions. So please do stay a while in your meditation. But I'll leave you for now. Bid you a good day.